Hello and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series and in today's video we are going to be continuing on with the game and we are going to be continuing on with the objectives. So over the last few videos we've sort of been working with our objectives for collecting the firewood and lighting the fire and the next objective that we're going to be working on is pretty much picking up the little key item and then sort of using that key to open a door and access the horror mansion. Um, so what I want to do today is pretty much much import the models that we're going to need to use for the key and then we're also going to be setting up the user interface for that so it actually displays it on the screen we're going to be going over the script as well so the engine knows whether or not we've got the item and a few other bits as well there's lots of different aspects we've got the material we've got the model we've got the script we've got the user interface it's going to be a nice long video for you guys that do like the long videos um, but hopefully we should have a working key pickup item by the end of this video also so if you're not up to date with the series definitely make sure that you go ahead and check out the latest video um, just so you know your game is exactly in the same stage where we are. Also if you haven't watched the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series I definitely advise you check that out so you can you know figure out how to use blueprints and everything uh, nice and easily. So. Having said that, I have actually got a model for this already, so you won't need to create one. If you are looking to learn how to create models like keys and firewood and that kind of stuff, I definitely advise you check out my 3ds Max beginner modeling tutorial series. But anyway, enough of all of that. Let's go ahead and dive straight into it. If you want the uh, you know the key model, it's going to be in the download description uh, download description down below. It's going to be in the latest version of the survival horror game uh, folder. So I've I've got my key underscore b underscore o2 file here and I'm just going to go ahead and import that into my engine and I'm going to import that straight into my third person bp folder and to do that I am pretty much just going to drag and drop just to import it just like that and I'm going to go ahead and press import and once we've done that I'm going to go ahead and delete the material that comes with it if it has created one that's fine and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import the texture for that as well so as soon as this finishes you know doing whatever it's got to do you know we can crack on with that so I'm not going to edit this out um, now it's a perfect opportunity for you guys to pretty much if you have any questions feel free to ask them down in the script in the comments below share the video share the love um, so I think it might have crashed on me that's not too great hmm that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so just give it a couple more moments. If it isn't going to continue, I will edit this out um, and it should be all good. Uh, one thing I do want to show you for now is, you know, we've got our level plan. It's got all of our objectives on here and that is pretty much exactly what we're going to be working on over the next few videos. Um, you know, finding the key and then we're also going to be setting up the door which is going to require the key to you know open it I guess so we can actually progress to the next stage of a level which is pretty nice um, and obviously we've got the heads up display side of things as well we've got to get the key into the inventory system so let's go ahead and have a look at my Unreal Engine to see exactly what's going on okay so it's all good okay so we've deleted that that's just fine let's go into our texture folder now and import the diffuse texture so once again we're just going to click drag and drop just like that and it'll import it into the engine if you don't want to import it that way you can just press the import button over here and do it from there we need to create a material from for this texture so that we can actually you know use it on a static mesh so just right click it in the content browser and then just create a material I'm going to leave the name exactly what it is at the moment, open it up and we're just going to make sure that the diffuse is connected to the base color and one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a constant and I'm going to hook that up to the roughness and that is pretty much just going to make it a little bit a little shinier more give it a more shinier more metallic look and once that has sort of finished going it will look really really nice on our object and there you are. So I'm going to go ahead and press apply and then I'm not going to save it for now, you guys should definitely do it, um, but I'm just trying to save a little bit of time at the moment as we are a little bit behind. My computer is really slow at the moment, so there we are, let's go ahead and close this out. And the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and apply that material to the object itself. 
so just give it a second my computer is awfully slow um you know i wish i did have something better so third person bp open up the key item just here give it a second and in the details panel on the right hand side we should be able to set the material for this any second now just let that load Cool, there you are. And over here at the top, instead of using world grid material on it, we are going to go ahead and use the key material. The key is very small, so you might not be able to see it. So just go ahead and zoom in, move around on the camera, and you'll get to that. If you go ahead and type key into here, you can change the material and that will update it and it's working just great. So next thing that we need to do then is we pretty much need to set up the blueprint for the key inventory item. So what I'm going to do for that then is I, if I believe, uh, if I'm correct, we actually created a blueprint for that a couple of episodes back. We pretty much just duplicated the wood inventory pickup item. Um, if you haven't got it, just go ahead and right click that and duplicate. Um, and just name it key inventory pickup. From there, all we got to do is change a few things. First thing we're going to do is change how it looks in the viewport. So we are just going to go into the details, static mesh, and instead of it being a piece of firewood, we are just going to type in key and use the static mesh for the key instead. And we're also going to scale it up a little bit because at the moment it is really, really small. So instead of me sort of doing it uh, the way I normally would. I'm just going to change the values over here to something like uh, 7 by 7 by 7 and if we center that in a moment you know it should look just fine. There you are, it's nice and big. Let's go ahead and compile that and drag it into the scene and see how it looks. So, drag the key into the scene there you are and we've got a nice little key object you might have to you know lift it above the ground a little bit but it is looking good if we were to go ahead and press play now and run over this we will be able to pick it up but it's you know it's not going to work with our user interface just yet so we can run over it it will collect it and that's great but the engine doesn't really know what to do with it at the moment it didn't add it into the inventory so that's sort of what we need to do so we need to open that up and we need to look at a few things in here so what we need to do is we need to play around with the values if you remember in one of the earlier videos I created a word document with a bunch of item IDs which will pretty much tell us and remind us you know which item is gonna have which you know which icon so we've got key ideas two, wood ideas one, and in the wood inventory item, we are pretty much just setting that slot to change it to the item for one. With the key, we're going to be making sure that we change it to two because that's going to be the correct ID for that. So you can see I've already done that. Um, so if you have got the wood inventory system, um, just pretty much copy and paste, uh, copy and not not copy and paste, but duplicate it, and then just change the set bit to slot item two, 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 two from there, and it should work great. So that is fine. Um, you know, if you haven't got all of this, if you did miss it in one of the previous videos, make sure you go, you go, not go back, but just pretty much copy exactly what I've got here and that should work just fine for you. So next thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to work on the inventory side of things and if you remember all of our inventory setup is going to be covered in the survival HUD widget and in the graph we have a bit of a script running in the background that's going to check what's in each slot and then set an image accordingly. So what I need to do then is, if you remember, we created these little switch on int nodes. We have zero, which was going to set it to, you know, being completely blank. One is going to have the log inventory, uh, you know, image. And what we need to do is set the item ID for two to being, you know, set brush from texture. And this time it's going to be a key image instead. So we pretty much just need to add to the little two there. We also need to import the texture from Photoshop from our inventory to, you know, actually get the key in there. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the key in here with the layer selected, copy and paste it onto a new canvas. Now I've already got it all set up in here. That's working fine for me. Um, and I'm just pretty much going to export this out once again. 
everything you're going to need is going to be in the download link in the description in the survival horror uh, folder and I'm going to call this key inventory item PNG. Make sure that you save it as a PNG so it actually has the transparency that we can so that we can use it in the engine later on. Go into the textures folder and if we have the wood inventory item in here that should be great. Um, so we're going to try and keep it in the same folder if we, if we can. So just try and figure out exactly where that is. Um, so that's going to be in the third person BP folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that newly created texture straight into here. And once we've done that, we can actually begin to reference it inside of blueprints. So what I'm going to do then is I am going to copy and paste all of these little nodes. We've got five slots. We're going to do it five times, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to pretty much hook up all of these little two bits into set brush texture uh, for us. So let's go ahead and do that. So copy, paste, and then if we go ahead and do this, hook it up into two. And then put the output into switch on int over there. There's not much space, so you may end up, you know, having to move everything up a little bit. Don't be afraid to do that. It's not going to harm your script. Just make sure nothing that get, gets unplugged. So now that I've done that, I also need to make sure I set my target up to inventory 1. When you're doing the second one, you're going to make sure it's inventory 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So next thing I need to do, texture, we need to make sure this is going to be key inventory item. And hopefully, just hopefully, this should be working all fine. So we're going to go ahead and compile that. There doesn't seem to be any issues. I'm going to move that off over there, press play, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up the item and see what happens. Hopefully, it should be all working. So if we pick it up, we've got the key item in our first slot. Now, if we was to have a piece of wood, you know, in our inventory, and then collect the key so it goes into slot 2, it's not going to show up for us because we've only sort of set up the logic for the first one to actually, you know, tell it which image to go to. So we pretty much just need to copy and paste this over four times now. It shouldn't take too long. One, two, three, almost there. Just use Control C, Control V, copy and paste it over, and just hook all of this up. So two goes in here. Once again, two goes in here. Two goes in here. And then we've also got to hook up the targets in a moment as well. Make sure that you have got the right target, otherwise your script is going to be going all over the place. So inventory two in the target. Inventory 3 in the target, Inventory 4 in the target, and lastly, Inventory 5 in the target there. So I'm going to go ahead and compile that again. I'm going to press play. I'm going to collect two pieces of wood just to make sure everything is working. So that is one piece of wood. And I'm going to collect another piece of wood over here. And that is great. And you know what? I'm going to collect three pieces of wood, actually. And then I'm going to pick up my key and you can see it's been added into the fourth slot and that is working great when we go and light the fire we're still going to have our key in the fourth slot that is working great that is pretty much everything that i wanted to go over for this video um you know there is a few more things that we're going to do with the key and that is going to be down to you know when we actually create the door we can set up the functionality to let the player only go through it if they have the key in their inventory so i'm going to end off the video here thanks for watching make sure you comment like and subscribe share the video share the love and make sure that you guys keep on creating keep on creating awesome stuff and i will see you in the next video goodbye